Hello again, friends. Welcome back. My name is Oscar Montes Iga, certified wine and spirits instructor for the International Wine and Spirits Guild. Welcome back to Uncork Vintage Academia here at the Booze Library. Today, I'm going to bring you a quick evaluation on a rye whiskey. It's a rye whiskey I found just very uh, appealing. It's very much something that is exciting. It's a little extraordinary, a little beyond the norms of a rye whiskey. Um, so it's a fun one. Uh, hopefully you can find it. Uh, they make it in small batches. And I'm talking about uh, Barrel Craft Spirits. They label something um, called Seagrass. So Seagrass is the label you're looking for within the barrel portfolio. And um, it's a blended rye whiskey. It is sitting at 59.2 uh, average. Because uh, I have, I believe, two possibly different batches where... Um, one is labeled at 59.29, the other one's 59.2. Um, so they might have had a few different, uh, the blended whiskey might have had different casks that it's sitting in. But it is bottled at cask strength or barrel proof, basically. Um, and what's unique about this particular rye blend, um, well, there's actually two things. One is the source of the rye, the, the rye malt. And it is blended with Kentucky rye, Indiana rye, Tennessee rye, and Canadian rye. Uh, but furthermore, the blended rye goes into secondary matur maturation in Martinique rum uh, agricole barrels, basically. Um, so Martinique rum barrels, Madeira barrels, and the most intriguing one for me was the apricot brandy barrels or cask. Um, so it's a fun ride because it's finished in three different funky, in a way, um, barrel programs and things that I love like apple brandy, I mean, sorry, um, apricot brandy, uh, Madeira, and rum. So why not? Um, it, it is a, uh, over four years of age. There is no age statement on the bottles. And I'm going to be tasting out of bottle 5980. All right. Um, so let's get going right away. We're tasting neat and the spirit is clear. It is a, a pale honey color with a straw transition and a thin clear edge. My primary nasal impact is drying and there's just a slight tingling a light prickling but it's mostly drying and there's wonderful um, aromas I think some of the first things that hit me is ginger and then woody qualities of walnut um, baking spices there's a lot of honey and then there's uh, stone fruits like apricot, peach, orchard fruits like pear and apple, uh, quince. There's some melon qualities to it. And a little bit of floral perfume. Also honey. So the honey is influenced by a lot of floral notes. And there is rye malt as well as uh, caramel on the nose. So there's a lot going on, a lot of spice, a lot of fruit, a lot of florality uh, or perfume. It's fun. Um, I would say that the character, the, the production intensity aroma is adequate and simple. However, the élevage intensity uh, is complex and adequate. Uh, the length is adequate or um, average and ordinary towards fine. I would say more fine. It develops into a little bit of musk. This muskiness, very cool character. Uh, let's give it a taste.
So in the mouthfeel, the first impact is coating, but there is both astringency and, and warming effects as well. I think primarily astringency and, and coating is going to be the primary two and then warming as a secondary. The alcohol and glycerol is smooth. Um, it's a full body whiskey with generous alcohol. So general smooth alcohol full body whiskey. My primary taste is sweet um, with an undertone of a little bit of sour and a little bit of bitterness. Uh, the mouthfeel is oily. Um, and the flavors, uh, most of them are confirmed from the nose. I think primarily on the palate, what hits me first is pecan and walnut, followed by orange zest, which did not show up in the nose evaluation. And then ripe plum and apricot, um, queens, ripe pear, ripe apple, honey, and toffee. So there's a lot of similarity. The toffee is similar to the caramel that I got on the nose. Uh, there's still the queens, pear and apple, and the honey qualities. What's also new besides the orange zest is the uh, plum qualities. But there was a lot of stone fruit on the nose, like uh, the apricot and peach. So it turns a little darker, uh, like in a plum quality on the palate. Uh, but it's juicy and ripe, um, delicious. Um, it's got a concentrated flavor intensity. It is slightly complex, towards complex. And it's both uh, bold and harmonious because everything is pushing towards being in your face, but in a very harmonious way. Everything's balanced, everything's working together, nothing's pulling strings towards one way or another. Um, the finish is pleasant and very long. I can still taste that, so it's over 10 seconds um, on the finish. And my overall impression is excellent. It's both pretty and exciting, and again, I guess I, m I mentioned earlier, uh, extraordinary. It's not necessarily the typicity of rye, but it is good that I'm still showing the raw material. I get rye malt, but then a lot of complexity. Um, there's no better way to explain that, that it's complex. Complex both aromatically and in flavors, but also structurally it sounds, there's no flaws or faults. There is a harmonious balance. Uh, that is concentrated and towards bold, so it's a fun ride. If you get your hands on it, try it, try it. I would recommend it. Unless you don't like it, just send it my way. I'd be happy to keep it in the house. Um, so perfect structure. Uh, nothing, nothing is overwhelming uh, or underwhelming, and I definitely can sip this on its own. I love, love it the way it is. I don't need ice or water um, on this whiskey. It may make a fun cocktail, but I'd rather really just sip on it on a night, you know, poker plane, whatever, maybe. Um, or with food. So, um, food pairings, uh, I recommend you pairing it with um, a pulled pork torta, traditional pulled pork, a Carolina style, uh, Carolina style pulled pork, uh, or pick, pick picking, basically. Um, you could do a torta or a sandwich, cream corn, uh, coleslaw, potato salad. Um, I think that style of food with this style of whiskey will work wonders. Um, so I'm just sad that I haven't bought more. But again, I'm waiting on you guys. If you don't like the bottle you bought, I'll send you my address and send it my way. I hope you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, hit subscribe and like, stay tuned for the next evaluation or co cocktail demo, whatever it may be, but also if you have questions about rye or whiskey or a cocktail that you've seen in the channel in the past, uh, please comment, don't be afraid to leave your notes and comments and I'll be sure to check them out, I appreciate you watching, uh, if you get release this today this video happy thanksgiving it is thanksgiving season here uh, in post columbus america but greetings and salutations to all my native american family in the continent i appreciate you uh, keeping uh, your high spirits so um, uh, keep enjoying your day and festivities i hope there's something good at the table 
um, if not food or drinks, then at least friends, family, and fun. Uh, cheers, amigos. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.